Hey, beautiful people. You know, it's so funny. I was going to record, I was going to record a podcast about something entirely different, but in the moment of me setting things up and getting my mic ready and stuff, something came to me and I just thought, I wonder what would happen if I talked to that for a minute. So I'm literally going into the unknown with you here. Um, but there's a statement that came to me and it was, it was this feelings are not problems. Feelings are not problems. Emotions are not problems. Now, that looks important to me because for many of us, we orient towards feelings, emotions, sensations as problems. Now, if you think about like a mathematical problem, if you think long enough, if you kind of do some mental training, if you learn about math, those kinds of things, use your intellect. At some point, you will discover the secret to the equation or the solution or whatever it happens to be. Not a mathematician. <laughs> so uh, yeah, probably worth noting. But you see my point, right? We, like it's, it's, a, it's a powerful orientation because we're looking for a solution to a mathematical problem. But when we apply that to feelings, we end up in a whole world of hot water because feelings aren't problems. Like they, they do not have a solution in the way that a sum does. And the thing is, they don't need one because feelings and emotions, you know, they're energy in motion, they're energy that moves, moves through the system. And one of the beautiful things that we've got going for us is the wisdom in the system. And the wisdom says nothing is permanent. Everything is transient. There's not a single feeling or sensation that any of us have ever had that's lasted forever. Now, you've heard me mention this before. It's interesting that when we resist things, they hang around, right? Because they're not given their full expression. They're not given their full flow. And in a strange way, innocently intellectualizing it, trying to like figure it out at an intellectual level, trying to problem solve our feelings and our emotions, right? So that we don't feel them again, or so they go away quicker or something like that. It, it becomes a form of resistance because we're not accepting the fact that it's there and that it has its own life and that it has its own time span. And that just looks really important to me. It looks really important for us all to know at the deepest, deepest level that feelings are not problems. You don't need a solution to them because they're self-resolving. They have the, the solution in kind of in air quotes built in is in understanding how our experience is created. It's in understanding that feelings are transient, that they come and they go. This too shall pass. It's an incredible thing to know. It's very powerful. And it frees up a lot of mind space because in the problem solving kind of orientation, it's your job. It's your job to sort it out. And we, we very often stir that pot, innocently stir that pot. Now, you know, a kind of a metaphor that's often used in this world is, is like the snow globe or water, like a pond getting mixed up, getting stirred up. Now, when we try and problem solve the fact that there's a pond that, you know, imagine the wind has come through, storms come through, it's brought all the silt up from the bottom, like there's a lot of kind of a murk in that pond. Problem solving is almost like trying to get in with our net and try and solve the problem of the dirty water, right? But actually all along, if we just sit back and wait, because of gravity, because of how the system works, because of how, because of water, like the science behind all of that stuff, it will, it will settle back down and we'll be left with clarity. And the same is true with our feelings and emotions. So this isn't about learning anything new, getting better at problem solving, figuring out how to control your emotions or your feelings. It's actually about the complete opposite in a way. It's about unlearning. It's about knowing less. And it's, it's, it's that thing that Sid said, you know, if the only thing that people, any of us learned was not to be afraid of our experience, our psychological experience, that alone would change the world because we'd all be, we'd all stop trying to problem solve so much. We'd be in flow and we wouldn't be running around trying to, you know, make that pond water clear when life's already got it. It's already done. It just might not be on the time span you'd like it to be like the energetic charge of that feeling that sadness that grief that joy whatever it it might not be on sam's time frame or your time frame it's it's on life's time frame so there we go that seems like a nice place to kind of to leave it but um yeah that that looks 
helpful to me. I'd love to know. Let me know if you're watching this on YouTube. Let me know in the comments if you're listening to this uh, on the podcast. Like, reach out. Let me know. We'll go and find the YouTube uh, video and, and come and let me know your thoughts on the comments because I would love to know. But you'll have the most beautiful week, most beautiful day, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Thank you.